Okay, welcome back. I've got rid of the link thing so it's closer to what you'll see if you've got a fresh install of WordPress. And we've, from we were kind of working our way down the left hand column. Going to ignore appearance for a minute, going to ignore plugins and move on to settings. The reason for doing that is it's typically something you'll end up forgetting otherwise. So on settings, we've got the site title. It'll put in just another WordPress site unless you choose something else. The URL is just a te test one I'm using. That won't be there by the time you get to see that. Email address, whatever. So nothing really to change in settings. General. Writing. At the moment, um, nothing particularly to change, but that will probably change. Reading, that will definitely change, but we can't do that yet. Discussion. Now that, I tend to change a couple of things. Comments, comment spam is something that happens with WordPress a lot. So I'll tick the box that says an administrator must always approve the comment and I'll untick the box that says they must have a previously approved comment. The reason for that is that quite often a spammer will put in a test comment that's quite innocuous and you'll approve it. And then they'll put in all sorts of rubbish thereafter. So unless you get lots and lots of comments and in which case you've got a popular blog and you'll take other steps. Tick that one, untick that one, press save. Media, don't do much about. Permalinks, that's the other thing that I always change. And I'll do a custom structure. We'll put this in the... Um, in the PDF that comes with it, but it, basically post name, so that will just put the post name rather than the default on WordPress which is p equals whatever which is just something no good to man or beast so post name is the easiest thing to put in it's what I always put in as I said I'll put that in the PDF that accompanies this you don't have to copy and paste try and copy it from a video which you can't do so that's it on the settings changes appearance we'll cover now if it's a brand new WordPress 3.5 install, you'll only have the 2012 theme in I've, because I've got other themes lurking around. But 2012 is the one that you'll get you that will get used, and it's the most it's the default one. Stick with it for the minute, and we can change it later. Widgets. What'll happen? Let's move that across. Is that you'll get a sidebar which has a load of rubbish in it. Search. I'm going to leave recent posts I tend to leave, recent comments drag out the way, archives drag out the way, categories drag out the way, and meter drag out the way, and that will happen by default. So that was... that just gets rid of them there. So we've got recent work posts, hello world, um, because I'd, I'll get rid of that. Okay, I've got rid of that. that. That was just because I had to do a fresh install of WordPress and I didn't I'd forgotten to clear those out before we started. So that's it. There's not even a header on the header on that. So go on to work appearance again. Just show you where that is. Header. There's no default image in there, so you'd you'd need to upload one if you decided to use one. But that's what the site will look like out of the box, ready to customise. Very simple, very easy, and we'll move on in the next video to all the different plugins that I'd suggest you install. So we'll see you in the next video.